Hi there, I'm Kyle, and welcome back to Bedtime Verses with Kyle. Just a little poetry to help you get ready for bed. Tonight, more John Donne. Uh, let's see. So this is a, this one is a valediction forbidding morning. Well, we seem to have lost somebody here. Let's see what he has to say. As virtuous men pass mildly away and whisper to their souls to go, whilst some of their sad friends do say, the breath goes now, and some say no. So let us melt and make no noise, no tear floods, nor sigh tempests move, to a profanation of our joys, to tell the laity our love. Moving of the earth brings harms and fears, men reckon what it did and meant, but trepidation of the spheres, though greater far, is innocent. Dull sublunary lovers love, whose soulless sense cannot admit absence because it doth remove those things which elemented it. But we by a love so much refined that ourselves know not what it is, interassured of the mind, care less eyes, lips, and hands to miss. Our two souls, therefore, which are one, though I must go, endure not yet a breach, but an expansion, like gold to airy thinness beat. If they be two, they are two so, as stiff twin compasses are two. Thy soul, the fixed foot, makes no show, to move but doth, if the other do. And though it in the center sit, it when the other far doth roam, it leans and hearkens after it, and grows erect as it comes home. Such wilt thou be to me, who must, like the other foot, obliquely run. Thy firmness makes my circle just, and makes me end where I begun. Hmm. Basically, he's talking about uh, his soul being chained to this person. Says, was this a woman? It sounds like a woman. Um, the moving of the earth brings harms and fears. There's nothing you can do about that. You know, we all have to be, we all become one with uh, turf, as we've discussed before. Love and death, very popular themes, obviously, throughout time. Um, I wonder, I wonder if this was one of the women he was in love with, or if it was just a friend, like his best buddy. Still, it's a nice sentiment. Their, their souls are, are linked and are cut from the same cloth type thing, although he didn't use that image. He didn't use that image. Our two souls, therefore, which are one. There you go. So, they don't, they never part, it just, the distance between them just gets thinner and thinner, but they're always connected. It's nice. The, like gold to airy thinness beats, so it's like gold leaf stretched, stretched across a, a vast area. That's oh, very nice. Well, thanks again for joining me for Bedtime Verses with Kyle. You can follow me here, subscribe to my YouTube and my website, and there'll be new readings every weekday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good night. Sleep tight.